Hello friends, welcome to this uh, first lecture on uh, the course MT653 that is thermodynamics and kinetics. So this will not be a technical lecture, meaning we will not be dealing with any technical concepts or at least the introduction of it in this lecture. What we will be doing is, we will be looking into the general overview, the miscellaneous aspect of this lecture, which is what is the syllabus we will be dealing with and how these uh, contents of the syllabus will be delivered to you and ultimately how your understanding of these uh, contents of these uh, different technical concepts will be evaluated. So I will be uh, making a proposal of how it would be evaluated, any suggestions from you later will be uh, encouraged if at all a change is needed. Now, um, maybe or this could be your uh, first technical lecture that you are uh, listening to. So therefore, I also welcome you all uh, to the Department of Metallurgical and Materials Engineering. Now, I uh, don't know, some of you might be from a different background, say mechanical engineering. So irrespective of what your background is, now that you are uh, a part of metallurgical and materials engineering, you would be required or it is uh, required of you to give or to have a perspective that is of a metallurgical and materials engineer a perspective that stems from the material standpoint. Now without further ado, let me get into uh, the introductory aspects of this course. So my name is Gideon and I uh, will be the one who will be handling, handling this course. The details about me can be uh, found in our institute's uh, web page, particularly the one uh, wherein our department is largely dealt with. And uh, I believe I also have reached you separately uh, through uh, the through mail and through other group that we have and in that also you could find my uh, contact uh, details so if you have any questions pertaining to this lecture or any further uh, any uh, technical aspects that uh, we will be getting into in the upcoming days you are uh, very much welcome to reach me now before getting into these other aspects of these uh, of this particular course but um, uh, namely the syllabus and uh, the books and all i would like to get a uh, few things clarified but with a couple of things clarified. One is, this will not be an advanced thermodynamic course, meaning uh, we will not be assuming a certain um, prerequisites and then trying to build on it. What we will be doing is, we will be getting into the fundamentals of uh, thermodynamics and kinetics. So therefore, some of the terminologies or most of the terminologies and concepts you might have learned earlier. So those might be a refreshing or a way of uh, brushing up your understanding on that. So whatever we will be doing in this course for some might be a brushing up of already existing understanding. And for others, it might be something of uh, or giving a new perspective to some of the concepts that you have already uh, know about. What I mean by that is we in this course will be rendering purely or largely a continuous perspective to the thermodynamic concepts. We will be seeing at how Certain concepts that are rather general can be viewed from a metallurgical standpoint or from a material standpoint. So that is what we will be dealing with in this course. So whenever we talk about a particular concept, it will not be in a generalized term. We would like to stick to a particular standpoint, which we would like to provide a particular viewpoint and that viewpoint will stem from the metallurgical and materials aspect. Now the reason I want to make this particular uh, aspect of this or this particular uh, standpoint of this particular perspective very clear is because uh, like I have mentioned earlier some of you might be from a different engineering background your bachelor's, bachelor's degree might be of uh, a different engineering background so it might be from mechanical engineering for instance and some of the terminologies that we initially use might be um, sort of new to you it might be uh, sort of an alien uh, alienated terms to you but nevertheless, now that you are a part of this metallurgical and materials in, uh, engineering department, you are required to get used to it and you will of course get used to it. So these terms which initially you feel to be alien to you, these terms which you initially feel to belong to a different department should not stay like that. So that's the reason I want to introduce this particular, I want to give you this particular aspect of our course at the, of our course at the very outside. Meaning, whatever new terminologies, whatever new perspective you learn, particularly those who are from a different uh, engineering background, whatever new aspects you learn or whatever way new or whatever uh, 
the contents you learn that largely stem from mythological and materials background even though in the initial stages they might sound alien to you they should not stay alien you should get acquainted with it you should get familiarized with it again your 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 uh, understanding might be largely based on your uh, bachelor's course your understanding might be largely from what you have learned during your bachelor's days there is nothing wrong in it however whatever new things that you will be learning in this course whatever uh, the methodological aspects that you will be learning in this course or any other course for that matter again even though they might be new to you they might be different from what you have learned in your bachelor's degree or in your bachelor's duration it should not stay like that during this course you should get you should make some attempts to get used to it and the way you discuss a particular concept and the way you express your understanding should be aligned with the overarching theme of this course that is metallurgical and materials engineering now having said that let us get into the mode of lectures that we will be following for this course so given that uh, we are rather in an unconventional time so ideally we would be in person having a discussion i would be able to see your face assess your uh, response and then recalibrate myself but uh, that is not possible given the conditions we are in so therefore uh, we will be adapting uh, a flipped mode of lecture so what the flipped mode of lectures means is that a pre recorded lecture specifically for this uh, course like the one that is uh, being are shared with you or the one that you are listening right now will be shared with you for uh, um, for a given week and uh, for a given class and uh, this lecture um, you can listen to it of course you are engaged to listen to it at the specific uh, allotted time of in accordance with your uh, timetable however they will be available for you even after that so you could uh, listen to it at your own convenience so ideally this being a four credit course we have four dedicated lectures for a week however three pre recorded lectures will be shared with you in this flip mode and one of this lecture and apart from these three pre recorded lectures one uh, session of of a given week will be dedicated for the discussion so whatever doubts whatever question that might arise from these pre recorded lectures the three pre recorded lectures that has already been uh, shared with you these questions will be dealt with in this uh, one lecture where uh, and exclusively this lecture would be meant for it so ideally what would happen is in a given week or uh, just before or uh, sufficiently ahead of uh, the class a link for a given lecture will be shared with you and you can of course listen to this lecture at your know, time of your convenience and of course you are encouraged to listen to it at the uh, scheduled period and the three lectures or instead of uh, delivering all the four lectures in a given week three lectures will be delivered in the form of this uh, link and uh, one of the four lectures will be exclusively devoted for uh, discussing questions and uh, any other uh, that doubt that might arise during the week now this fifth mode of lecture there are many reasons for it one is uh, of course uh, given the times we are in i wanted to make uh, the best use of it and uh, possibly the best use of it can be made if this lectures are made available to you online because it makes a significant difference when uh, you are virtually present and you are physically present so it is a, it is a huge difference so in order to ensure that you have whatever material that is being discussed with you on in the class it's available with you for a quite some period uh, this uh, mode of lecture is preferred and other thing is that um, like i have mentioned in uh, our previous communication that the registration for this course is still open and uh, some of your friends who might be joining later in the, in the semester they also might have to have access to this uh, lecture so that's one of the reasons that uh, this mode is being adopted now possibly after uh, a week or so like after five lectures have been uh, shared with you in the form of this uh, recorded uh, sessions there will be a feedback form that will be sent to you so in that uh, you might uh, give your response on how are you uh, feeling with this mode of lecture are you feeling comfortable with it or are you feeling uh, quite distracted to it so depending on our response we will either continue with this mode of lecture or we will flip back to what is the new uh, conventional uh, mode of lecture that is uh, the online lectures in ms team or google now 
The syllabus that we will be following is uh, nothing different from what has been proposed to us. So this syllabus you could uh, found, uh, you can find it online in our uh, institute web page. The link to it is here. So we will be largely sticking uh, with this uh, syllabus. And uh, of course, we will be emphasizing few aspects of it more than the other. So whatever is uh, relevant to us, whatever is uh, quite uh, we need to uh, understand or we need to build a strong foundation, those concepts will be dealt with uh, in, a, in a more uh, emphatic way when compared to the others. Now, in addition to the syllabus, in the same web page, uh, these books are given for your references. So one can uh, try to access these books. And if you are finding it difficult to get any uh, books, Please let me know. I will try to find uh, what are the options available for us from the library. And one thing you need to understand is that uh, I will not be following any of this book uh, completely, or I will not be following. I will not be giving an exclusive concentration to any of this book. I will be just going through some of. I will be learning some. I will be uh, discussing some concepts from one book while moving on to other book from for a different ones. So therefore, uh, you need to understand that uh, the perspective that will be that will be rendered in this uh, lecture will not be largely coming from a particular book. Now, having said that, uh, the concepts that we will be dealing with in this course they have been separated into six modules. Uh, one, uh, the reason we have separated it is uh, first to give a clear distinction between the technological, the technical concepts that we will be dealing with how one concepts help us build or get into the next one and uh, secondly it will also help us uh, to create uh, a clear distin uh, um, a distinction between uh, different uh, segments of this course and also it will help us uh, have assessments that are that are actually placed in uh, in the sections or in the uh, in the place or uh, in the durations where we need to refresh the concepts that we have learned so these six modules will begin with the general introduction. So this, this introduction, introductory part will be the uh, the next technical lecture. So in from the next technical uh, lecture onwards, we will begin with this uh, general introduction. So we will try to understand uh, the fundamental concepts that are necessary to dig into the actual um, technical aspect of thermodynamics and kinetics. So basically, what we will be doing in this introductory lecture is is that uh, or in the introductory module is that we will be trying to get ourselves familiarized with or uh, get ourselves uh, used to some of the terminologies that we will be largely using it, largely uh, using in the subsequent lectures and the other module will be uh, so it will deal with the second law of thermodynamics so here we will consider uh, largely the different concepts that are involved uh, in second law of thermodynamics and how these concepts help us understand this particular law and again we will be attempting to render a perspective from the metallurgical and material standpoint so here it will not be just about the concepts but we will attempt to um, to get acquainted or get uh, to learn more about the different concepts that helps us understand the second law and after familiarizing ourselves with the second law, we will be of course moving on to the next law of the thermodynamics. And again here, we will try to add to our understanding of the, the concepts that are associated with second law. We will try to add to it and then eventually build it up to the third law. And uh, once having gained our, a certain degree of understanding of the different law of thermodynamics along with the understanding of different concepts that are available to us, how these different concepts they interact to give us these different law. Once these have uh, been gained, we will get into what we mean by phase equilibria. So this is where uh, the viewpoint or the standpoint of metallurgical and materials uh, come into play. They come into fruition. So what essentially we will be dealing with how these different laws, which have now thus far been purely theoretical, can be put into an actual application. So those things we will be dealing with in the fourth module of phase equilibria. And uh, we will also, in addition to the solid state systems, we will also consider uh, how, so instead of uh, confining ourselves or restricting ourselves uh, with systems that comprises of just one component, we will try to add a few more components, we will try to add uh, some solutes, and we will try to see how our understanding of uh, these different concepts that have to do with the thermodynamic laws and phase equilibria would change when you have a solution. When you have instead of just one, a system with just one component, you add another component to it. How then these law changes how then whatever concepts that we have understood thus far would change and finally we will try to understand the kinetics of 
the different systems that we are studying. So kinetics that are involved within the different systems that we are studying. How the thermodynamic part can also be uh, involved in introducing a kinetics or introducing a change in the system that uh, wherein there is a kinetics involved. So these are the six different modules that we will be considering. So whatever concepts that uh, we learn based on our syllabus, so we will be distinguishing that into the six different modules and uh, depending on the significance of the concepts, the duration that is that is being spent on each of these modules will be different. For instance, uh, we will be spending not so much time on the general introduction. However, we will attempt to spend quite some time on thermodynamics of solution because this is like the next stage of our fundamental understanding of thermodynamics and kinetics. Now, so this is uh, one aspect that you need to be least worried about. So the way we will be evaluating your understanding is, so these are the uh, different, uh, this is the proposed way of evaluation. So we have uh, an assignment, a midterm, a presentation and an end semester. So end semester is set, it's for 30 marks and where a presentation will be for 20 marks and so on and so forth. So you could see that assignment and midterm is for 25 marks each. Now again, uh, this is a, a, an aspect of the uh, introductory lecture that you should be least worried about because uh, this will be largely based on not the accuracy of your answer but the understanding of your concepts. So in this lecture, of course this is a technical one, of course it's a theoretical one, of course there will be a lot of uh, numerical problems that we will be dealing with in this, or at least numerical concepts that we will be dealing with in this lecture. But uh, the, the way uh, you will be evaluated is not uh, based on the accuracy of the answer but the way you have understood the concepts that, has, that is being delivered to you. So that's, that's the reason why you should be uh, at least worried about it. So if you pay attention and if you try to understand what is being dealt with in a given lecture, you should have no problem in answering the questions that you will be uh, asked of in assignment midterm and end semester. And um, one other aspect is of uh, this evaluation is that uh, except for the end semester, the assignment midterm and presentation will be a group activity. So depending on the size of the class, the groups will be assigned and uh, the number of number uh, for each of these groups, groups will be recommended. So again, for this we have to wait for the closure of the registration. So once the registration is closed, we will know the uh, size of the class and uh, depending on the size of the class, the uh, size of the group will be decided and uh, assignment, midterm and uh, the presentation will all be group activities except for the end semester. Now. Uh, we will attempt to follow the uh, guidelines that is provided by our institute in for this different assessment. So if you could, uh, if you look into your academic calendar, you would find that there are specific uh, durations that are meant for this first assessment, second and third and so forth. So therefore, um, we, will, we will attempt to follow uh, this particular suggestion made by our institute. Now finally, like I have mentioned earlier, this will purely be on your understanding, not the accuracy of your uh, answer. So therefore, you know, need not be uh, largely worried about it. And uh, so if you are able to gain uh, a good understanding of the concepts that are being delivered to you, you can stay cool all through this course. And again, I believe you, all, uh, uh, you have my contact details and I have shared with you my email ID as well. So therefore, if you have any questions pertaining to this lecture, if you want to make any suggestions, anything, please let me know. Uh, and apart from that, like I have uh, mentioned earlier, there will be a response uh, or a feedback form that will be circulated to you uh, through your uh, CR and uh, you can uh, fill in or uh, you are uh, welcome to fill in uh, the questions that are asked in this feedback form and additionally then you can also feed in some of your responses regarding the mode of lecture, the assessment and the different modules that we have adopted. So th with this I would like to wind this uh, lecture up. We will see ourselves in the next lecture wherein we will begin with the technical aspects of our course. Bye.